the home. There. Welcome to another video. It's Pivis the Tutor. And I hope that we are doing fine. Or if it's morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video, let's crack something that came in the 2024 GC paper one. Science. We are going to look at question F4. Now, the question says a hundred uniform beam is balanced when pivoted at X. So this is where it's being pivoted at. All right. A mass of 200 grams rests on the beam as shown in the diagram. So this is this is the mass, the one, the like box here. What is the mass of the beam? Now, they're looking at the mass of the entire beam. Imagine this is a beam that we are talking about, right? So the, then they have pivoted it somewhere here, all right? Then they have put another mass here. They want you to find the mass of this ruler. How do you do that? The first thing to do is recognize where this question is coming from, which topic, all right? This is coming from dynamics. That is the second, the third topic of what? Physics. Dynamics to do with forces. And now this one is one of the effects of the forces that deals the turning effect of the force called the moment. And once you recognize that, then you'll be good to go because you need to remember one concept called the principles of moment. And once that comes to your mind, then this question is done. So what do we need to know here? This beam is uniform that means from here with zero and there it's what 100 the last is zero and the, la the last is 100 and the first one is zero because it's uniform next we are we are breaking down the question into parts so it's uniform we've done that next they are saying um what is the mass of the beam so the mass of the beam even the mass of you yourself is at the center all right we call it the center of mass the center of mass is a point at which the mass of an object is concentrated. So the point at which the mass of this ruler or this beam is concentrated is actually at the center of the ruler or of the beam. So we are going to locate. Now, remember, this is from 0 to 100. What is the center of 100? 50. So we are going to locate where 50 centimeters is. So we can just approximate. If this is 40, let's say our 50 is somewhere there. Are we there, right? So we say our 50 is somewhere there. This is where our 50 mark is. This is where the mass of the ruler is concentrated. Now, once you know the center, you'll be able to find this distance from here to there. Remember that from, from here to there, it's 60. Here it's 50. That means what? Could this one be 10? That means this distance here is 10 centimeters. If from here to there is 60. So now, ladies and gentlemen, the question is even done. We are going to get clockwise moments. We say it's equal to what? Anti clockwise moments. So say clockwise moments is equal to. Uh, and clockwise moments. This is a symbol for talking called moment time. All right, so clockwise and clockwise. So in the clockwise direction, we have 10 number. Why am I getting 10? You always get the distance from the pivot. So the center is here. So I'm going to get the center from the pivot, which is 10. So I'm going to say 10 centimeters multiplied by the weight of the ruler. Let's call it W square w or let's say the mass sign let me call it mass let's call it m is equal to anti-clockwise we have this and the distance of this uh, mass from the pivot is 20 you can see eh? there to there is 20 so we are saying 20 centimeters we multiply by what 200 what, grams we are looking for m so we divide by what 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters so that and that they disappear so you have m equal to centimeter and centimeter gone zero and zero gone two and two four then zero and zero then you add ground that check on the on the multiple choice on the multiple choices which one is the answer 
our answer is what? C. Now, this is what we are required to be in this question. And I hope that you like the video. Follow our page and our channel. And see you.